Good day, students. So in this group, we're going to be going over uh, this gentleman right here known as uh, the Mr. Spoke Guy. And we're going to be basically going over how uh, to use the configuration of this page to solve problems involving slope. Okay? All right. So there goes Mr. Slope Guy. Uh, what do all these things mean? Well, I added some components to the standard Mr. Slope Guy just to give us more detailed meaning to the special cases of the slope of a line. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at uh, Mr. Slope Guy. Um, this is here right here. Now, um, we're gonna, I'm going to group the components of his, his face in a way that helps you understand how this mnemonic device can help you remember uh, the slope of the line based on its appearance, okay? All right, let's focus on the left eye, okay? The left eye right here. Put it in a circle. Now, you see that piece right here. What does that tell you? Well, it tells you that if you have a line that is going uh, from the left to the right and is going upwards, that basically means the line has a positive slope, okay? So if you have a line that looks like this, from the left to the right, if it's going in this orientation, that means that line has, see this line right here going from left to to right going upwards from left to right, just like this eye, it has a pos this plus means positive, positive slope. All right, so so there you have it. Okay, let's shift our attention to the eye on the right, the right eye. Uh, what does that mean? So let me highlight what I'm talking about right here. There goes the right eye. So it tells you that if you have a line going from left to right, and the line is going downwards, does it go from left to right? that line has a negative slope, okay? So going down like this, um, from left to right, you see that's the uh, orientation of this eye right here. You see how it's going down from left to right? This line has, this minus right here basically means it has a negative slope, okay? A negative slope, all right? So just remember when you're drawing your Mr. Slope guy, the I to the left is always plus. You always start with a plus first and then a minus, and it has this I going up and this I going down. All right? Okay, now how about this green component, the nose, with the times and the line and the U? What does that mean? All right, let me highlight that for you first. So this is the nose of Mr. Slope Guy. Now, what does that mean? All right, so you see, let me draw a line. This, is a, this line going up and down is a vertical line. All right, so what is the slope of a vertical line going up and down? You see that the bottom of the nose, the nose right there, that U, you know what that means? That means undefined. Okay, so if you have a line going up and down, it has an undefined slope. Okay, undefined slope. And that X on top of the nose basically tells you it's going to be of the form X equals A. Okay, whatever the X uh, intercept is, wherever it cuts through the X, uh, axis, that will be the uh, value that x equals to, okay? So you have a vertical line, you have an undefined slope, and it's of the case x equals k, all right? That's why you have the x up there. All right, let's shift our attention to the mouth of Mr. Slope Guy, the mouth and his little chin stuff right here, okay? So um, let's highlight it. There goes the mouth of Mr. Slope Guy. All right, so what on earth does that mean? Well, if you have a line going side to side, this is a horizontal line, okay? This is a horizontal line, just like the horizon, when you're at the beach looking at the sunset. Uh, this, is a, this is a horizontal line. If you have a horizontal line, what's the slope? A horizontal line has, you see these two zeros right here? Looks like the, like a, the amount of a pound. Uh, that means it has a zero slope, okay? Zero slope, okay? And this chain right here basically tells you it's of the form y equals a. So anywhere that the uh, line cuts through the y-axis, that's going to be the value um, of a for the uh, for that line. Okay, so there you have it. All right, so let's uh, consider some examples where we can actually use Mr. Slope Guy to solve actual math problems. So examples. Um, so for questions. One to two, the task is to uh, describe the slope of the given line. Describe the slope of the given lines. 
Okay. All right. Now, uh, number one. Let's see. We let me just draw a line for you. We we have our our uh, y axis and our x axis, and we have a line looking like this. All right, so let's see we have this line, and the task is to describe um, describe the slope of this line. All right, so this is the line right here. Let's call it line L. This is uh, your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. So what is the slope of this line? Is it positive, negative? Is it undefined, or is it zero? All right, I don't know. Well, let's, let's call it Mr. Slope Guy. So I'm going to draw Mr. Slope Guy again. You gotta drum a lot so that you can um, memorize how it's, how space looks like. So I'm gonna start um, with the signs. This is how I do my. You can do it whichever way you like. Okay. So I like to start with the uh, plus, the plus i, and the negative. I remember the, the positive i goes to the left, and then the times, and the u, and my two circles, my two circles, and the little chin. Or whatever you want to call it. All right, so, and then I know that this line is going up, this line is going down, this one is vertical, this is horizontal, and that goes into slope guy, and then you can give him a big face. Okay, and you can give him a body too if you want. Anyway, so that goes into slope guy. So um, I see that this line is going up. So what does that tell me? This eye right here, this left eye tells me that if the line is going up in this orientation, the slope is positive. So the answer to this is line. Line L has a positive slope. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another example. What if uh, for number two, we have a line of this orientation. Let me draw my coordinate system. We have your y-axis, your x-axis. We have a line looking like this. Okay. And we're going to call this line line M. Okay, line M. And this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. Now the question is, what is this? Describe the slope of this line. Okay? If you look at this line, this line, line M, is going down from left to right. Okay? It's going down from left to right. So let's look at our Mr. Slope guy. If you look at it, you notice that the line that has this orientation is the, the right eye right here. Okay? We gotta be careful not to make the eye too too longer, or else we're gonna confuse this too. So it's gonna make it a little bit shorter. Okay, good. So keep the sign small, so I don't confuse this line with this mouth right here. All right. So um, the orientation of this line is consistent with the uh, eye on the right. Um, this eye right here. So what is that minus under the uh, downward sloping eyelid? Tell me. It tells me that it has a negative slope. Okay. The line going down this way has a negative slope. So answer to our question is line M has a negative slope. Okay? Has a negative slope. All right. Now let's write any instructions for question um question uh four uh, oh, three and four. So for three to four, we're gonna do a little bit more here, okay? So you're going to describe the slope of the line, describe the slope of the line, describe the slope of the line and, and write the results in equation, okay? We're going to be dealing with the special cases here, results in equation. All right, so, uh, Let's consider, take a look at question number three. So question three, let's say we, this is our coordinate system. We have our x-axis, I mean our y-axis, and then our x-axis down here. And then we have a line going through there like that, okay? All right, let's label, label it. So this is, uh, this is one on the y-axis and two. This is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. Okay. Um, this is my origin, and this is the line under consideration right here. All right. So um, let's call this line S. So what is the 
a description of the slope of line S. Well, I don't know. Let's let's call him Mr. Slope Guy again. I'm gonna draw another one, okay? Let me see if I can do a better job drawing it. So we have the I like to do the plus and the minus times and the u. Okay. And then the two zeros in my y. All right, remember, you got to practice this a lot so that you don't mess it up on the day of the test, all right? So you have a line going like this, you have another line going like that, you have a line between x and the u, oh, oh, do that again. You have a line going down, and you have a vertical line going down this way, and then you have a horizontal line between the two zeros, all right? So there goes Mr. Slope Guy. All right, this one looks like a problem. Let me adjust this side right here. Uh, so there goes Mr. Slope Guy. It doesn't have to be a circle, you can make it a box, a triangle, a heart, whatever makes you happy. All right, and that goes the body. Okay, so um, this is a line, it's a horizontal line, so what's the slope? See, this is a horizontal line right here. What do these two zeros tell me? It tells me that line S has a zero slope. So line S, line S has a zero slope. Zero slope. Okay. All right, so what is the equation, though? You see this line right here, we're going to look at this entire group. You see this y under here tells you that this horizontal line is of the form. Horizontal lines are always of the form y equals a, okay? So um, what what is the a value here? What is the point that this line cuts the y-axis? It cuts it at 2. So the equation, equation of s is simply y equals 2, okay? So this, these two zeros tells me the value of the slope, and then this y tells me it's going to be y equals whatever the intersect is on the y-axis. So there you have it. Okay, let's take a look at the last question, question number four. Um, let's say we have a line in the following configuration. So there goes your y-axis, there goes your x-axis, and there goes a, a vertical line going up and down there. All right, let me go ahead and label it. Um, this is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. And this is the line. Let's call this line line T. Okay? This is my origin. This is one, two, three. Okay? All right. Now, um, let's see. The instructions were to find the slope and then write the resulting equation. So what's the slope of this line right here? Well, let's go back to the slope guy. You can see that we're looking at the nose here because we have the uh, vertical line associated with the nose. We have the x and the u, all right, for the nose. Now, let's use that to solve this line. Uh, so we have the u under there. What does that mean? It means undefined. u is for undefined, yeah? So line uh, t has m undefined slope. Okay, it has an undefined slope. All right, what is the equation of this line? Well, you see the x up there on top of the nose, it tells you it's going to be of the form vertical lines. Um, draw that again, that looks like a squiggly. So vertical lines um, is a special case. It's of the form x equals a. Just like horizontal lines are the form y equals a, Vertical lines of the form x equals a. Okay? Alright, so at what point does this vertical line cut the x-axis? That's the question. It cuts it at 3, so basically a is 3, right? So the equation of t, equation of t is basically x equals the intersection, the intercept, I'm sorry, which is 3. And there goes your answer. Okay? So basically that's how to use Mr. Slope Guy. And please, please, please practice a lot of join so that you don't even mess it up, okay? Because one little mistake, especially like in the orientation of the eyelids, can uh, mess you up, all right? So keep that in mind. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And uh, if you like this video, you can click like um, and post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found at .com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.